one table. So he's Multi-threading is a Java feature that allows concurrent execution of two or more parts of a program with maximum utility. Is in Java is a process of executing multi-threads in um thread is a line. Hello, someone wants to say something? Hi, hey, good morning, ma'am. Good morning. All the lift. Uh, good morning, all. Uh, the resource person have joined, so uh, we will be starting with the session. Uh, before we start, let's uh, just a minute. Good morning, one and all. On behalf of Kaveri College of Art, Science, and Commerce, I welcome you all to the hands-on workshop on React.js. We are fortunate to have Mr. Kunal Pagaria as the resource person for today's workshop. And this entire workshop is conducted in association with Skillslide Foundation. Students, uh, participant, please make sure that you keep your uh, audios muted so that we don't have any disturbance during the workshop and it will not bother others. Yeah. Right. Thank you for the same. So uh, uh, just a brief overview of today's workshop. This workshop will be conducted for two days where uh, the takeaways for the workshop will be getting started with React.js, React components, uh, styling React components, installing Bootstrap, JSX for React components and so on. So this session will be, uh, this workshop will be a totally hands-on workshop where uh, the resource person will showing you out how uh, to write code, how to use React. Okay. So uh, I welcome uh, for this session, for this workshop, I welcome uh, Mr. Amaya Agarwal, who is a founder director of Skillslet Foundation Pune. I welcome our principal, Dr. Ashok Agarwal, vice principal, Dr. Mukta Karmarkar, all the teaching, non-teaching -te staff from 
uh, Kaveri College, from other colleges, all the participants, I welcome you all. I, this entire workshop is conducted in association with uh, Skillslet Foundation. We have Mr. Amay Agarwal, who is a founder director of Skillslet Foundation. I request Mr. Amay Agarwal to introduce, give a brief introduction about Skillslet Foundation. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Chitra ma'am, for the nice and warm introduction. It, uh, uh, like always, it's been always a pleasure to be associated with Kaveri College. I would like to welcome uh, Kunal Pagaria, sir, for being uh, present here and giving your precious time for this wonderful workshop. Uh, <clears throat> my name is uh, Amaya Agrawal, as Madam introduced. I'm the founder of Skillslate. Skillslate is a non-profit organization where uh, we collaborate with different universities, colleges, and educational institutions to make sure that we can provide uh, accessible and uh, affordable education so that uh, these kind of skills and opportunities can reach uh, many, many people. And uh, like today also, we have received 1,000 plus registrations. So I think uh, this is a testimony <clears throat> to the efforts we have been work uh, of the efforts we have been doing with Kaveri College uh, in making these kind of skills accessible. And uh, we are reaching out to more and more half. people. And, uh, just to be uh, uh, share, just to be sharing with you guys. Uh, in the past couple of days, I have been receiving around five to six calls from different states uh, across India about the kind of workshop we have been conducting. I wish uh, Principal Sir should have been here uh, because I wanted to share this good news uh, with him. But uh, Chitra Ma'am and uh, other faculty members of Kaveri College are here. So I would like to share with them that we have been receiving five, six, seven calls uh, from the states, different states. And they have been very happy with the uh, kind of activities we have been doing together uh, based on different skills. And uh, they're actually taking inspiration from these kind of activities. So I think uh, this is a very good approach uh, what we are doing and uh, I'm really sure that students are getting benefited from this kind of workshop and uh, we are committed to do uh, more of these activities at Skillslate and uh, I wish the students all the very best. I'm sure that you guys will be learning a lot and you all will be staying with us uh, till the end of the workshop also and in the future events also. So I again uh, congratulate Kaveri College as well for organizing uh, this workshop together with us in a, such a beautiful manner and uh, reaching out to so much people and also our resource person uh, Pagaria sir for giving out your precious time. Thank you so much ma'am. Uh, thank you so much sir and thank you so much students for being here today. Uh, I hope uh, you will learn a lot today. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Amaya Garwal, uh, for introducing Skillslet to all the participants, and surely they will be connected with us and Skillslet for all the events and uh, lecture series that we would be conducting henceforth. Now let us move on to welcome and felicitate our today's resource person, Mr. Kunal Pagaria. Mr. Kunal Pagaria is currently working as a senior development specialist at Amdocs India. He has over 11 years of professional experience in core Java, Java security, SOAP, REST, service, SOAP, REST services, Maven, Spring. Uh, he is an Oracle certified professional. He is an AWS certified professional. He is ITIL VS certified professional, Cisco certified CCNA uh, professional. He is also an information technology infrastructure library certified. So he has done his certification. Mr. Kunal Pagaria has been awarded with employee of the quarter in Amdocs. He has been awarded twice with Cisco Achievement Program in Cisco System for his great job. He has been awarded yeah. twice with Cisco Star in Cisco System. We are really honored to have Mr. Kunal Pagaria as a resource person who is really very resourceful and I'm sure he will guide the students and enhance the student's skill in React.js. On behalf of Kaveri College of Arts, Science and Commerce, I welcome Mr. Kunal Pagaria, today's resource person for the session. Now, before wasting any more time or without wasting any more time, I request Mr. Kunal Pagaria to start with the session. Yeah. 
कुणाल सर या गुड मॉर्निंग सो यू वुड बी शेअरिंग युअर स्क्रीन So let's 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 start with the react uh, students everyone please mute yourself so we are going to start with uh, uh, react js programming because i'm i'm going to start with very basic okay i hope everyone uh, did the installation of react js Uh, all the participants are please requested to mute yourself so that it don't causes a disturbance to others otherwise maybe ma'am you have the rights to move all the participant yeah okay you can uh, go here and you know you can click on mute all except me yeah Yes. Okay. okay sir. Yes. Yeah. So I I hope you have uh, the installation of uh, React JS. Okay. So before React JS, you should have the installation of uh, Node. Okay. So how to check whether uh, you have the Node JS install or not? Simply you can go to the CMD. Open the CMD, everyone. How you can open it? Just uh, you know, go here and type CMD. Tell me. and type here the command node version okay so put here double dash so as a command output you will get uh, something like you know 14.17.5 or 16. Point something which is the latest version of node which you may have it okay i have a bit older version but that's okay it doesn't matter uh, to us even 14.17 is okay for us okay prerequisite for react is to have the node installation okay because node allow you to you know download the packages uh, download the libraries which is required for react js programming okay so we will talk about why react and uh, what what react is so first at least try this command node dash dash version It, it, uh, you should get some some output at least okay and if you don't have the node js installed then uh, go to the google and uh, type node js download click on the first link here you'll see the download options windows installer either 32 bit or 64 bit okay so let's let me give this uh, this link to everyone okay along with it uh, you know start uh, downloading uh, sublime text also so we will use sublime text uh, for this two days of workshop we'll write the code by using sublime text as a uh, as id click on this link and download the sublime text Okay, so you will see the option for Mac OS, for Windows, and for Linux. If you are using Windows, click here. If you are using Linux, you can click uh, here. Okay, here okay now let's start with the react parallelly you can uh, you know download and install the node js and uh, sublime text it hardly takes a couple of second to install so what react is sir there is a question uh, that uh, can we use visual studio 
anything you can use it yes visual studio also fine okay if you have visual studio already installed that's okay you can use visual studio even if you have any any other editor apart from sublime text or visual studio that, that is also okay yeah uh, so react is a client side javascript library Okay, client side in the sense, uh, you know, it it works at the client side. Uh, you, let's suppose you are accessing the Facebook. Okay, so for Facebook, you are the client. So whatever UI you see it uh, in a Facebook web page. So to develop that kind of UI, you required a kind of programming language, UI programming language, user interface programming language, and one of the UI programming language is React. Okay. So it is the client side JavaScript library based upon the JavaScript. Okay. So it doesn't mean that you require full knowledge about JavaScript. Even if you have basic knowledge about JS, then that is fine to start fine. with, to start with React JS programming. Okay. So this library, this framework is created and maintained by Facebook. Okay, so Facebook started uh, development of uh, React JS in early 2011-2012, and uh, still uh, most of the React JS code uh, is getting maintained by Facebook, Facebook uh, company. It is used to build the front-end application. Front-end application means web projects, websites. Uh, 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 sites which require you know login user authentication example amazon.com instagram.com okay or, or any 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 website which uh, you you want to host it as a as a uh, you know web project okay. so it is used to develop the web application by uh, you know by using the react js library and this library can be very handy to use it and uh, it is fully dynamic in nature so how it is dynamic in nature what it means without refreshing the page we can update the dom or part of the website at runtime or call the http services without reloading the page means for example see when you access the facebook or when you when you access uh, uh, instagram you don't refresh the page you just scroll up or scroll down automatically you get the new post okay or if you see the comments uh, then uh, you can go to the top of the comments or you can go to the uh, you know last comment directly without refreshing the page you you don't every time refresh the page so how that is possible how you get the data from from the server why because these library uh, example react js library so these library they are fully dynamic in nature so you don't need to refresh the uh, web page that is that is the beauty of react js yeah, so that is the reason uh, you know big companies like amazon facebook nowadays they uses react js because they don't want client to every time uh, you know send request to the server and then get the data Okay, it is always you know painful to send request to the server and get the data because uh, you know in real life entities when you send request to the server you have to wait for some time because your request will go to the server server will process that request and ultimately you will get the data back okay so this requires some time okay. so to save that time and to get uh, you know full uh, full full uh, uh, you know performance for better performance the react js library is used okay by using react js you don't even need to refresh uh, the page and still can get the data easily from the server okay. it renders everything as a component so we'll talk about what component means okay. so if we talk about mvc pattern model view controller then react is referred as v v means view so whatever web page or whatever data you see it on the web page. So that data uh, you can display it by using V, V as a view. Okay. React is similar or closer to the Angular. Even uh, if you know the Angular or if you know at least the features of Angular, then you can compare those features with React.js. Basically both 
ui frameworks they build uh, you know by using mvc pattern only so both are same in feature wise but both are different in syntax wise so angular syntax is very much different uh, different than react syntax okay but both are used for dynamic web uh, development web projects development both are ui technology both are you know getting used widely in the industry so let's see why we need to learn the react okay first and most important is it makes javascript very easy okay if you try to learn javascript uh, you will get feel like it is very hard the syntax is very hard you you can't get it very easily okay so it doesn't happen with the react js react js is very easy to learn okay so it it is completely organized library uh, if you write the code in react js you can reuse that code multiple times okay so like in a returns uh, the react js also supports the reusability react js is very scalable and efficient efficient okay best example is instagram you know like almost uh, you know everyone is on instagram at least uh, those who are in it or the, those who who connect uh, to the social media or to the web okay so we always connected uh, together uh, uh, you know to uh, to the social activities or to the social website by using instagram or facebook so this this website instagram okay i'm uh, particularly talking about instagram front end instagram is developed in react js okay so it supports the scalability scalability in the sense at the same time millions of user can connect to the instagram website and can post or you know uh, can get the comments or can uh, you know can see the post so this is how instagram is uh, you know developed by using uh, react js this is uh, lighter than most of the framework even instagram if you use it uh, you can you, you can see like it is very light uh, application so you can download it and uh, start using it okay, even facebook is very light application so how this application becomes light because this application uses light libraries and one of the light libraries is react and at the end very important for you you will get the job in ui technology very easily if you have the knowledge of react js you know because the react js is most widely used or most uh, you know frequently used ui technology in the market like facebook also uses react facebook owns the react right so they they of course uses the react instagram uses the react amazon uses the react okay so every big company or even every small scale company they uses uh, react for ui development okay and even react can connect uh, to the node js react can connect to python react can connect to java react can connect to dotnet it doesn't matter which backend you have you can always connect to the backend by using uh, Uh, you know some some library http libraries in react js okay so now let's start with the actual implementation react setup we already did it react setup okay. so if you have node js install okay then how to install the react you have to run this command npm install create react app okay so this command will download the react libraries let me give this command to you so you can uh, type the command here copy paste the command and type it here so let me copy it so simply copy paste the command or type the command in command line npm install dash g hyphen g create react app okay and press enter as i already have the react i need not to you know reinstall it but if you don't have it first install the react js
<laughs> Rakesh, what what is the error? Error in VS code. If you have a problem in VS, you can uh, you know simply download the Sublime text. It's uh, you know a very lightweight library. Uh, it, it, if I download it, let's see. So it's only 18 MB. So you can start downloading downloading the Sublime text. Okay, now once you have the installation, now let's create the application in React.js. How we can create the application or, or how we can create the project in React.js is by using this command, create React app. This is the command and this is the project name. Okay, so for this two days of workshop, we are going to you know use one topic case study topic called as contact manager so by using contact manager application we are going to learn the react js okay so what you need to do go to the uh, explorer your windows explorer select any drive either it could be c drive d drive or e drive whatever create the directory with some name for example react js project or react js okay so i created one directory if you see in my data i have react.js directory okay now open the cmd from here you have to go to the address bar and here type cmd okay so this will open the cmd command prompt and uh, if you see the directory whatever directory we have chosen uh, the cmd gets open inside the directory only so we are in react.js directory let me know if you want me to repeat the step okay if you are lagging behind or if you want me to re repeat the step just let me know Okay. Gautam, sir, you're not clearly audible. I guess uh, he wants me to repeat. Okay. <laughs> sir, you're not audible yes, at all. I have created one. Sir, can you type the message because you're not audible at all? There's a lot of disturbance oh. from your side. Yeah, I'm going to repeat it. Kunal, sir, can you just increase the font a bit? So this is Windows. Let me uh, for the, the command. Project. Command. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll end. Yeah. See. yeah, thank you, sir. Okay. So just create one directory here in any of the uh, you know drive. Either it could be D drive, E drive, whatever drive you want to choose it. You can uh, select that uh, drive. Okay. So basically, our project it's... project will get downloaded in this directory. Okay. So create one directory with name React.js. Okay. and open the cmd from here so you have to go to the address bar and just type the cmd and press enter so cmd will be open automatically and uh, cmd will get into this directory directly you don't require to you know use the cd command and all okay and now here just type the command create dash react dash app and the application name command is create react app and the application name Uh, Abhishek Parihar has raised his hand. Do you have any queries? 
Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, when I uh, wrote the create dash app, now that uh, it is here, I can uh, error showing is not recognized as an internal or external command. Can you check the spelling? Create dash create dash app. Is it correct? Type the correct command. Create dash create dash app. uh yeah so it's uh, correct okay so it means you uh, you haven't installed the react js you don't have react uh, install react library installed so for that uh, did you install the react library by using this command npm install yes sir i have installed it dash g by using dash g create react app yes yes okay Mm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, everyone uh, execute this command. So it will take you know two three minutes to download the packages. So till the time, uh, Abhishek, uh, if possible, can you share the screen? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Just a second. Uh, yes. Only host can share uh, yeah, in this yeah. meeting. Yes, yes, yes. Just a minute. We'll make you co-host. Yeah. Abhishek, you can try now. Yeah, uh, yes, ma'am. How many of you have successfully executed the command? Do you do you able to see the download started? Just raise your hand. Yeah. Uh, Ma'am, I'm not able to. You have been made the co-host, so you can go and share your screen. Abhishek, uh, you know there is a uh, you know button uh, at the down of the screen, share screen. And you have. Uh, yes, sir. I'm doing that only, but it's not sharing. Okay. Just like maybe uh, you, know, you, you may have some issue, but uh, you know if uh, if you install the npm npm dash g create react app, so it should you should get the uh, you know command create react application. So uh, I don't know uh, what is the issue. Okay, uh, ma'am. Uh, can I on my uh, uh, start video? Yes, yes, you can. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, Kuna sir, there is an error uh, for one of the participant that operation not permitted MKDR. I think this is the Windows error. Contact uh, manager. Uh, he must not have permissions for creating directory in that on that drive. On that drive yeah. might be it. Yes. So Sonali, please check that uh, the drive where you are creating the directory, so it permits you. Yeah, Abhishek, you can share write your video. Write the path correct. It will come then, ma'am. If you write that path correct, it will come. Yeah. Abhishek, what happened? 
Ah, uh, then it's not uh, starting. So if uh, okay, I will uh, check my again uh, NPN the uh, install. I will uh, do it again. What you can do is you can share me uh, share uh, the screenshot with us. We will forward it to Kunal sir. Yeah, you can share uh, on okay. WhatsApp too. Okay, okay, ma'am. I will uh, share on uh, group. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Okay. uh next error you are running create ri tab 403 which is behind the latest release okay so what exactly command you are trying sir i just uh, trying to so same command uh, like same that the... so there is only there is already the ri uh, create ri app install in your system so it is saying like first remove the global installation in uh -huh. on install and then uh, you can on. you can reinstall it again and so, if you have if you have already then why you are uh, you know yeah yeah sir yeah, yeah you can use the existing installation only oh okay sir okay 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 thank you so participant raise your hands if the installation is still going on uh, we have to 80 participant around 280 okay so i i should get uh, you know the reply from everyone yes sir download it ma'am sir is it done yes sir done installation done good see i also got contact manager folder here inside the react js and inside contact manager i i i got many files and folder okay you see my download has been completed you will also get the same kind of message once your download gets completed so how many of you see this message in your screen raise your hands everyone do this we are going to uh, we are going to do lot of good stuff in react js by using bootstrap by using you know javascript code you will you will learn a uh, lot of new technology not a lot of new feature from react okay so but to learn it practically you need installation okay so you need to have the project so everyone sir what is happy hacking sir they have you have written somewhere happy hacking no, it's not me it's the uh, by using you know we we use this command right create react app so this command output you know gives happy hacking at that happy hacking means now the project is created now whatever you want you can do it okay so this message is from the command which we executed this command create react app contact manager once the command is successful you will get this message at the end okay so let's move next now we have to go inside our project directory cd contact manager go inside the project directory and start the server how we can start the server by using command npm start okay so this is what they also written see cd contact manager and then npm start so we did cd contact manager now we we are into contact manager folder now to start the server we have to execute command npm start so this will start the server okay you can see the message see the message here starting the development server so server is started sir so after now, after changing the directory what what is command you said npm i'll i'll repeat just give me a minute i'll repeat okay 
now see the server is started it our default code whatever code uh, that got downloaded it's compiled successfully and now i i can see the default web page of react.js how i can see it you have to go to localhost and the port is 3000 the default port of react is 3000 so you have to hit localhost http colon slash slash localhost colon 3000 so you'll see the same kind of web page so if you see this web page that means our project creation is successful and now we will able to start development in react.js okay now let me repeat the step once you see this message happy hacking it means your project is created successfully now you have to go to the, your project directory cd and the project directory name contact manager and then you need to execute the command npm start which will start the server okay so basically it will run your application contact manager application get, it will get run when you execute this command npm start how to start the server or how to run the application by using command npm start okay how many of you see the same screen on your laptop my installation is not successful it is showing some error so again i have to install it uh which installation this one uh, first one uh, create yes, that same problem yes, yes yes so there okay, what there is the error what is the error there are lots of error just read the last line deleting generated file package.json json okay okay see there could be different error okay mainly because you know sometime the network gets disconnected sometime you may have low bandwidth and uh, you know it is not able to download the packages and download the libraries to your machine okay. so you have to delete the created folder and rerun the command again okay Okay, so let, let's wait for two minutes till the time. If if anyone wants to show the error or the uh, you, if you if you if you paste the error in the chat, then uh, maybe I I can help you. Just paste the error in the chat. Sir, 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 hello. Yes. Sir, uh, run server Okay. Go to the directory, project directory by using cd command, cd contact manager, and then execute the command npm start. Okay. Now, I'll, I'll put this into the chart. If anyone needs help, then let me know if you want uh, uh, okay, if you are facing the error, just put the errors in the chat or share your screen. Okay. 
सर ये कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट कहाँ पे ओपन करना है एक्चुअली मेरा थोड़ा मिस हो गया था नेटवर्क के प्रॉब्लम से तो वो नहीं हो रहा है मेरा ओके फर्स्ट टेल मी डू यू डिड यू एग्जीक्यूटेड दिस कमांड क्रिएट रिएक्ट टाइप नहीं सर नो बिकॉज पहले वाला मेरा हुआ नहीं है ना तो ये भी नहीं हो रहा व्हाट वाज द लास्ट कमांड यू एग्जीक्यूट npm is not recognized as internal or external command okay so you don't have a, even npm you do you have the node installed ah uh, yes i still i have installed it how come you don't have uh, how many of you are getting the error internal or external command yes sir uh, so i am abhishek okay abhishek you and this is second case and uh, any 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 other any other candidate you are facing the error internal external command command not found raise raise your hand if you are getting you also okay Three out of it. Okay. Uh, share your screen. Just let me know. Let me see the error. Share your screen. What is your name? Uh, Madhurani sir. Yeah. Madhurani. Are you able to share the screen? Oh yes sir. Yeah. Uh, we don't uh, see. to connect to the uh, you know session internet should be connected all the time right to connect yes. to okay uh, second thing when we download the project once the download gets completed you don't required anything to download again only in one case you need the internet when we download the bootstrap okay so we we are going to do that, do that in uh, tomorrow session so see i have installed it nodejs in c okay. drive i make one folder nodejs in okay. that i have installed but after that i don't know what exactly i have okay so just go to the cmd okay cmd okay. here should i open or open from search bar in you that it is okay in uh, any, any way go to the cmd open the search bar and uh, type cmd okay. So my installation gets successfully happy. You are not clearly audible. Ah, yes, not showing the message. Can you type? Can you type your? Can you type the message? Gautam oh. sir, type your error or type your question. Yeah, Madhura, can you open the same? Ah, yes, I open it. I don't see it. I only see the explorer. Did you share the full yeah. screen? Ah, okay. Ah, you are seeing, sir. Yeah, I yeah. can see it now. Okay. Now just type here npm. Npm type. Npm space dash uh, version. Enter. Okay. Now uh, go back to the explorer. Go back to the explorer. Yeah. Okay. And type your CMD in the address bar. Here. Address bar. Address bar. Upper. Address bar. C program files. Yeah. So select that. Select that. Complete address bar. No. 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 Back. Go back. Go back. 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 Okay, you have to select the complete address bar. Last, last, last page. Go at the India. So type now CMD. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Type CMD. Enter. Okay. okay. Now type the command. Okay. 
npm version node version type the command node version uh actually i type npm dash dash version okay. that that's okay now type node version node dash dash version no 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 dash dash version okay no space you can use the arrow button no need to type with the command again you can use the arrow button arrow button yeah remove the space okay so mm -hmm. you have the node install okay but you are not able to run this command from uh, from any directory you have to go to into this directory then only you can run it why because okay. your, your path is not set okay okay so uh -huh. now uh, if any other uh, candidate if you are facing same kind of issue uh, now i will tell you the solution go back uh, go to the explorer go to yes. the explorer explorer yeah now go back just click on back 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 okay now uh, copy this path c colon program files copy this path okay. no 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 just go to this directory node go to this directory node node directory yes go to the node js directory ha ah, yes it is go inside this directory okay now copy the complete path so copy the installation part this is your installation path okay. now go to the search box and type environment variable okay edit edit environment variable now spelling go to the search again and type environment madhurani your spelling is wrong me i r o back space then don't type all all the thing just type env okay do you see edit environment variable open it environment variable you have to go to environment variable click on the path down not here not here down system variable path system variable path file number path do you see the path 1 2 3 4 5 row okay edit new new paste it okay and uh, press okay 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 now uh, close the cmd close it close all the cmd and open the cmd again close this one also okay. now open the cmd again from search not from here from search box okay and now type node version node, node space space yeah okay okay now you are able to run this command now you have to first install the create react app npm install create react app and then create the project npm install uh, the, all the commands they are available in the chat okay 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 just do it because you know, we need to we need to go ahead just do this command i again pasted on the chat okay okay Execute this command, and uh, after that, execute create React app.
Okay, now let me share the screen again. Uh, should I stop? Yeah, yeah, please. Hello? Okay, so how many uh, of you are completed the step? Is your project running now? How many of you see the web page? Just let me know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. So let's continue now. Okay. Now I am opening the code in sublime text. If you have Visual Studio, open the Visual Studio. Okay, so I open sublime text. I'll go here in file. I'll go to open folder. And inside React.js project. Okay. Now this is my project directory. I am selecting the project directory. And now the project has been open in Sublime Text. Let me close this. Okay. Now open the project in Sublime Text. You also do it. If you have Visual Studio, do the same step in Visual Studio. You should see the SRC public node module and package.json. Done. It's a common What do you mean? Now, what you have to do? Do you see the app dot js? Here, click on the app dot js. You'll see one function here. Function function app okay so just listen to me carefully first you have to remove this header remove this header and just here you know type h1 hello react slash h1 Okay. Again, I'll repeat. You you need to go to app dot js. Open app dot js file, which is inside src. This is the default code of uh, of our project. We don't require this code. Simply remove it. And just here type h1. Hello, React. <laughs> Guys, mute yourself if you don't speak. Okay, and now go to the web page. You'll see the hello react as a, as a output. Sir. Yes. Uh, wo upar logo kuch to likha hai wo react ka logo wo nahi aayega kya why we require react logo we are going to develop our own application right yes but wo import logo se wo kya import ho raha hai abhi to dekho see i I'll, I'll again do the control z see here uh, in earlier page we we were displaying the logo right wo logo okay. dikh raha tha okay now we removed this code. Now no need to keep this uh, import. Yes, go be remove kar sakte. You can remove this also. Okay. Okay. And just here type H1. So we are going to develop uh, the application, you know, by writing our own code. We are not going to use the existing code. 
ओके सर okay now see the interesting part over here if i change this let's suppose hello react okay if i am typing here again in just i'm saving this page control s there is yeah. no need to refresh yeah so there is no need to refresh no need to recompile yes. everything you will get it as a you know dynamic because react is very dynamic in nature and it is very fast even you just type it control s you will see the output directly on the screen sir yes mera ek doubt hai yeah um ye jo react hai wo server ko call nahi karta hai kya client side pe execute hota hai kya no 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 it it calls it uh, i'll i'll give you answer to your question just give me a minute uh, rakesh yes if you use npx that is also okay okay for us there is no difference between npm or npx so you can use npx also okay then uh, kartikesh how import file contact manager you you need not to import it you just need to open it in sublime text okay how you can open it go to sublime text file open folder and open contact manager go to the Uh, required project uh, location and then open contact manager from here okay you need to just click on your uh, project folder and say select folder yahan pe dekho this is the option select folder this you have to click okay then next uh, let me answer uh, to the charts the web page just keep on buffering means buffering in in memory after the h1 time it it actually it, it is not just the buffering see like if you if you change anything now uh, who ask me the question server client who ask the question sir maine pucha tha what is your name uh, chaitrali Chaitrali, okay, very good question. See now, I am. This is my code, right? So I am changing the code, and when I change the code, let's suppose I change it here. One, two, three. Let me open the CMD again. So my code gets recompiled automatically. Okay, and now when the code gets recompiled, uh, it goes to the this uh, you know backend functionality. this goes to the you know browser and refresh the page automatically you need not to refresh it as a user so all all these tasks will be done by the backend activity okay so there is a call to the server if you you know change anything ultimately there is a call to the server but that call doesn't you know load the page completely that call only load the change uh, data uh, like, sir it's a synchronous or asynchronous it's for us it's synchronous but for uh, server it's a synchronous call okay means only the change part will go to the server yeah only the change part only the change part you will get it from the server okay okay now let's suppose for example i am here removing 1 uh, 2 3 so i'll get only this h1 tag i will not get you know div tag or uske above wala tag down wala tag header wala tag i will not get that one from the server i'll only get this h1 tag okay sir okay sir means And request automatically sent hoti hai kya yes sir request automatically get sent to the server okay okay now consider you are viewing the uh, instagram application so instagram uh, application if you try to post your comment let's suppose ki kisi ne post kiya and you are you are trying to giving the comment then when you click on the submit comment okay only the comment will 
goes to the server and you will see the updated comment in in that post rest part will not get uh, refresh rest part will remain as it is okay and yes, in, yes. in yeah and, and in traditional approach jo pehle wala in earlier traditional approach 5 years back 10 years back what what was happening when you send something all the data goes to the server and then you get the totally new page it's very time consuming yeah it's really time consuming bandwidth consuming not only time but bandwidth also gets consumed मीन सर जो रिस्पॉन्स ऑलरेडी सेंड किया होता है सर्वर की साइड से वो फिर से सेंड नहीं होता जो चेंज वाला रिस्पॉन्स है वो सेंड होता है ओनली चेंज पार्ट यस ओके ओके एनी मोर क्वेश्चन शाल वी गो हेड गाइज यस सर okay now uh, let's clean this project first okay uh, app dot test dot js we don't require it okay you can uh, simply delete it don't delete app dot js huh? delete app dot test okay logo we don't require it you can delete it logo file css will keep the css for no okay now let's understand the project structure node modules public and src we have three sub folder inside contact manager फातिमा कम प्लीज म्यूट योर सेल्फ ओके वी हैव नोड मॉड्यूल्स पब्लिक एंड एस आर सी वी हैव यू नो थ्री सब फोल्डर इन साइड मेन फोल्डर एंड इन साइड एस आर सी वी हैव द रिक्वायर्ड कोड विच वी आर गोइंग टू अपडेट इट और विच वी आर गोइंग टू यू नो राइट इट क्रिएट इट सो वॉट यूर फाइल्स एंड कोड वी आर गोइंग टू राइट इट विल राइट इट इन एस आर सी फोल्डर ओके देर इज अ पब्लिक फोल्डर नो नीड टू टच द पब्लिक फोल्डर for now okay uh, node modules we need not to do anything in node modules okay so if you open the node modules you will see lot of folders so these folders they are nothing but libraries which we are going to use it for our development react application development okay so if you use uh, let's suppose uh, we we are going to install bootstrap library in tomorrow session so you will see the new folder gets uh, you know created and all the required libraries of bootstrap will get downloaded here in node modules okay now src is the main application main uh, folder where we'll write the application code now let's see the let's see some theory part okay now index.js this is the entry point of the application index.js so first file first javascript file that gets run when the application gets started is the index.js file this is the first file which gets executed okay so this file index.js file has the render functionality okay can anyone tell me what render is or what dom is what is dom document okay document object model okay but what what is it i know full form is document object model but what what is it using a render function we can render to the app.js and we can use okay i'll i'll tell you in simple word 
रेंडर इज नथिंग बट डिस्प्ले यू जस्ट नीड टू रिमेम्बर रेंडर मतलब रेंडर इज नथिंग बट डिस्प्ले ओके एंड डिस्प्ले वेयर एंड वॉट डिस्प्ले ऑन द ब्राउजर ओके ये आई एम आई गिवन द आंसर ऑफ वेयर डिस्प्ले ऑन द ब्राउजर ओके एंड वॉट टू डिस्प्ले द एच टी एम एल पेज एच टी एम एल कंटेंट ओके एच टी एम एल कंटेंट यस ओके बट वी हैव रिटर्न द जे एस राइट वी हैवन रिटर्न मच एच टी एम एल वी हैव रिटर्न द जे एस सो हाउ ब्राउजर इज गोइंग टू डिस्प्ले द जे एस ओके ब्राउजर इवन डजेंट अंडरस्टैंड रियली द एच टी एम एल or you know browser really doesn't understand the react browser doesn't understand python browser doesn't understand java browser only understand the dom dom object model okay so if you are writing js if you are writing react code if you are writing uh, you know jsp code inside your web page if you are writing uh, .net code inside your web page if you are writing django code you know in your web page your browser will not understand that okay so at the end each and every code will get converted to dom mm. and then only your browser will understand that dom got it yes sir okay now what we are doing here or what this js is so inside the js there is a app okay means From this JS, React is calling the app, and app what is app? JS. Yeah, and what is app? App is the component. component. Okay, remember, app is the component. Okay, now if you remember my first slide, first or second slide, uh, in React, it render everything as a component. Means what? It display everything as a component. So at the end, whatever. output you get it that output is nothing but the component Compon okay now we are going to learn what component is and how we can create our own component okay now okay. so component let's see what component means this is very simple web page okay very you know old web page of facebook nowadays you don't see this web page you see some uh, you know beautiful look and feel wala web page now if you see this web page okay the web page is divided into different part okay so you have to think of you know while designing your the application you have to think of how you can uh, divide your application or divide your web page into different part okay and these part they are called as components like for example here i have the header component abhi chalu hai na i have the header component then here i have profile cover component mark profile cover do you see here mark profile cover component you have menu component okay this is the menu component then on the left hand side down you have info component like about facebook and all the all that stuff info component and in the middle you will have post component okay what uh, if if your friend post something you will see it here directly that is the post component okay and uh, you know in in your facebook page you have the chat component also and the on the right hand side and there are different more components so basically component divide your code and you know from maintenance point of view it will make your code very easy okay so let's suppose tomorrow mark ask their development team not to display this profile cover component okay he said like i don't want this profile look cover component any any more let's display something else okay so developer only needs to remove one line developer only needs to remove one line he need not to change a lot of code only remove one line and put another another line so all look and feel of your application will get change okay how because you divided your application into different components 
small small components okay and it you know the division of component is totally uh, uh, you know uh, this is the decision of uh, the developer or this is the de decision of designer who is developing or designing the website okay no one is going to tell you divide this to this component divide divide this to you know one more component it's only your decision if you want to display all the data in single component you are good to go if you want to display all the uh, the web page into five components that is okay if you are going to display the web page in 10 component that is also okay okay so basically you have to understand how and how many components and uh, what needs to be rendered inside component okay got it so take any example take amazon.com in amazon.com you see the header you see the menu you can write the display of menu display of header display of footer in separate component and just call those components into your main component that's it okay so don't worry we are going to create the components and we are going to see how we can use the components in our you know uh, react.js programming okay now just remember component is of two types one is class based component and another one is function based component okay so you can write component in two ways one is class based another one is function based now if you see the code app.js code this component is written as a function based component see function app written and inside written you have the div tag okay so this is function based component and now if you want to convert it to class based component just you need to write the class class app extend component inheritance you have to use the inheritance extend component and inside the class definition write the render and then inside the render function return the html okay this code is same this code is same so this code you can see it here also return and some html okay here also you'll see the return and html only the difference in in class based component you need to write the class class you need to write the class okay class app extend component this line okay so class has the starting and ending bracket even function has the start and end but function start with the function keyword class start with the class keyword and you know the difference between class and function i did not to tell that okay now this is first thing now let me tell you something about jsx Okay. so jsx is nothing but javascript extension okay so it is the javascript extension so what it really mean it will allow you to put html code or html tag inside the javascript okay jsx will allow you to put html code inside the javascript that means that means see we are writing app.js app.js means we are writing js code okay extension is not html HT extension is javascript okay i am writing javascript import okay i want to use react functionality so import react i want to use component so import react uh, component from react library from react library and here i am writing a class which is again the javascript code okay again the javascript code return again the javascript code render return but inside it i am returning the html so i am writing the tag okay div tag h1 tag h2 tag so how it possible because of jsx so jsx is the extension over javascript which will allow you to write the html inside your uh, react js code sir okay yes डायरेक्टली पुटिंग दूर इज नो डॉम ओके 
okay so the conversion the html conversion into js will be done by dom in the back end you need not to do that okay and another disadvantage of document dot dom is document means you are accessing the complete dom object agree correct chaitali yes sir right so if you are going to access the complete dom object your class will get you know loaded very heavily inside memory okay sir okay so for us it is a single line change but you know uh, if you if you try to understand the technology in bit this is very big change okay because you know your website is going to used by millions of user okay just now you know rem remember the, there is a 9 am in india and around 9 pm in us okay so from india from us from china from everywhere people are accessing instagram how much load the instagram website will have just try to you know understand so you know, so that is the reason they have to think of you know a small kb of memory they have to think or they have to save a kind of memory sir means wo pura ka pura function memory mein load hota hai kya which function document dot write mein in document dot write whatever document object contain document object contain all the dom uh elements and all the dom elements will get loaded into the memory okay okay aur idhar kya hota hai and in this case in this case there is you know there is no dom object directly connected here here you have the html and whatever dynamic html you will get it only that dynamic html will get loaded into the client memory run time pe okay okay so for us there is no big difference but from performance point of view there is a big difference okay now let's understand the basic part first then we'll you know later you can jump to the performance at least basic part should be clear first okay now understand the jsx rule now in jsx you should not return multiple div or multiple html element inside return you should only return single tag you should only return single tag okay now here see we have a div and again we have a div so means we have two div in return so it is not allowed so if you want to return two div just put this two div inside one big div then this will be allowed because at the end it will return the single div and the okay so this is allowed then if you want to return multiple things how you can return it by using this okay. okay so this rule you have to remember you cannot return multiple tags you have to return the single tag okay so this is good this is valid example so we are returning only single div then next you need not to write html slash html body okay you you should not write it just write whatever content you want to return html body and all that stuff will be a part of index.js if you open the public directory you will see index.js and it contain html head and, and uh, all other default code okay so you need not to write all all html tags here you only need to write the required tag required tag in the sense which is required for the application okay so this is jsx if you want to execute any kind of expression in jsx you can execute it by using curly bracket okay like for example we are into javascript right so we can create the variables we can write the code in javascript we can write the function but at the end if you want to display it in html how you can display it using opening closing curly bracket and inside it write the variable name okay 
So any JSF expression goes into curly bracket, curly braces, opening, closing curly braces, single curly braces, and in that you can write the JSF expression. So whatever expression you want to write it, you can write it. Or if you want to call any JavaScript function, that is also possible. Like name dot to uppercase. So you'll see the output into uppercase. Okay, so that is also possible. Okay, now let's do this practically. Okay, I'll I'll go here. Let me copy this class. Then instead of function, now I'll uh, you know comment this out. Let's go comment it. Now I'll write class-based component, class app extend component. I need import. Uh, I need import here. Wait first. I'll write it and then I'll give the code to you. Okay. So class app extend component render. I have one variable name with some value, and then I have one div tag. This will be the message. We have into app component and we are displaying the name. Okay. So we are going to display the name over here. Let's see whether we have any errors or not. Okay, do you see error compiling? No error compiled successfully. Go to the web page. You will see default app component as a message and hello Kunal okay, as output. Okay, and now just see here uh, view page source. You will not see anything. Okay, in view page source, you will not see any code. Okay, we are we are returning this code right at the end to the user. We are display we are returning this code. We are displaying this code default app and hello name. But if you see the view page source, you will not see anything. Okay, so kind of security which uh, React JS gives you. And if you see the normal website, you will see all the code JS code and all all the stuff in older website. You'll you'll get all the code, right? Dekha apne kabi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is this is how you know you get the advantage if you use the new technology. And in PHP, you don't get really don't get this advantage. In PHP, you know whatever code you write it, everything is uh, you know readable by the end user. Okay. Now can you try this? Instead of uh, function base, comment out the function component and write the class base component. So there is a question: uh, Is it important to write const? Basically, const means it's a variable. So uh, you should, uh, yeah, you should understand uh, at least the basic of JavaScript. This is not React. This is JavaScript. In JavaScript, you can define the variable by using either const or by using where or by using let. Okay. So in this case, in our example, const is not necessary. It's just the example. But even you can write here where. Even you can write here let. Okay, you should understand the difference between where, late, and const. So this is pure JavaScript. Okay, so for us, just write the constant because we are not going to change the name. My name is Konal, so I'm not going to change that one, right? So that's why I given it as a constant.
just <clears throat> you know raise your hands if you are done done rakesh very good others just don't listen to the lecture it's uh, you know very good opportunity for you to write the code at least start writing the code in react js the college has scheduled this uh, you know hands on workshop for, for you guys only because you you should get at least you know hands on knowledge coding knowledge and then during the interview maybe you can you know explain them like what you know in react js excuse me sir yes uh, which is the best practice to write the component functional component or class component uh it depends on what exactly code you are going to write it okay now uh, uh you know uh, we were going to see two main feature of react js that is properties and state okay and totally it depends upon either you know you are going to use the properties or state in your component or not if the component is very simple not you know the component is not dynamic the component is very much you know static then you can use function based component and if the component is dynamic in nature then you can use class based component like for example header component once you choose the header you are not going to change it right frequently header menu will be remain as it is so you can write that component in function but the post you are going to update it very frequently post require you know state okay post as the state uh, post has you know comments the post has likes so that you can you know display it by using class component because what advantage you get it in class you will write the structural code like post has you know name post has uh, id the post has you know comments you can create the list you can create whatever you know code you want to write it you can write it using class base so there is a error uh, it is giving the error as component is not defined So Roshan, I, if you see the code, we have imported the component here. You have to import the. Yes, code. import it. Sir, why the component is imported like this? That means in curly braces. This is this is the uh, you know the signature signature of React. So this is React library. You can say. and this component curly bracket is uh, you know it is the pattern you, if you know the patterns in programming languages or patterns in mvc you can get to know that this is basically the decorator and the decorator has the syntax so they followed the same signature over here okay for us there is no difference just try to you know uh, only remember we have to use the curly bracket for component just for the you know basic signature okay okay but if you are keen to learn these things really in deep okay or if you have, you know uh, you if you have you know uh, in maybe uh, after after your academics if you want to go into the development okay or purely development then you can start learning the design patterns so if you know the design patterns then you your programming coding style will be improved a lot if you know the design patterns okay so start learning the design patterns you will uh, get to know that how to write the good code and this is one of the design patterns which uh, they have you know selected for react js similarly spring is also implemented by using design patterns uh, you know java spring uh, web services and microservices technology even angular uses its own uh, you know design patterns python has a lot of stuff written by using design patterns okay so jsx expression now we know how to uh, how to display the jsx with some expression this is another example with more dynamic content so like i have one constant show message which is set to true okay and now if the message is true if this show message variable is true then only i am going to display this tag 
otherwise i am not going to display the tag okay so this is conditional uh, behavior of uh, of your output so if something is true then only you are going to display if something is not true then you are not going to display so basically this type of uh, you know expression also can be written using jsx like here see like we are written ternary operator like show message if it is true display the h2 tag in upper case otherwise if it is not true then don't display it okay so you you cannot do this uh, you know dynamicness in html okay but now you have the ability to write you know jsx you have the ability to write the js you have to you have ability to call the js function inside html directly okay and if you going to use the same signature or you know the same concept in pure html and js you required lot of stuff to write for go you have to write the script you have to call the function you have to write the code right those who know the javascript but here it is very simple if you want to write javascript simply write it in opening closing bracket if you write html simply write it no need to write separate tags for that this is the advantage of uh, react that is js okay now let's hello sir know. yeah uh, sir i just want to ask one doubt hmm. uh, sir uh, why we have uh, not in this import logo from slash logo dot svg that was the default code uh, you know you that was the default code we already removed that code if you see this app dot js i don't have that code you can remove that line okay so it it was the default generated code when we downloaded the project now we are going to create our own application we don't require it so i i even i deleted that logo file also so even you can delete this logo png and all that stuff you don't require this uh, sir can we uh, can we assign another logo to this uh, that logo yeah, you can you can you can okay, okay. now let's jump to the actual uh, you know uh, case study development okay we are going to develop the small project over here okay project name is contact manager okay so we are going to you know create few contacts and we are going to display it using react js and using styling and bootstrap okay now uh, if you want you can uh, you know copy paste this code somewhere in your notes now we 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 don't require this code let's remove this h1 h1 and h2 remove it okay so we have simple div with no content right now remove this const also okay now i have a clean code of class which extend the component which has the return and inside div now we are going to write the code required for our application okay everyone do this clean your code if you want to take backup just copy paste this class and uh, copy and paste it somewhere in your notes yes sir yes uh, sir uh, it can a request that uh, can you send this uh, ppt on the group yeah after this i'll send it i'll have create the notes and i'll share it yeah okay thank you sir oh uh, sir yeah there is a extension shubham you can use that extension directly even you don't require if you use visual studio you don't require to open the terminal separately you can delete it kela mela mail nahi ala mana okay sir ha chalo tancha pan mala gharcha ahe sir there is a doubt yes uh sir in uh, class component uh, class based component we use render function uh, mm -hmm. and render function is uh, for displaying the uh, html contents on browser then why mm -hmm. we don't use render function when it is function based component so what is the difference you see like there is a, only the syntactical difference there is no logical difference between these two if we and, even even if we use here, here the function in the return internally this also gets converted to dom and this also gets converted to dom 
okay if we missed render function in class based no, there is no, no issue no, or no, it is compulsory no no, no. see here inside class you cannot return directly anything right you have to write the function correct okay do you know java yes sir in java you have, you have to write the function right then only you can write the code you cannot yes. write yes. direct code inside the class so yes. that's why we required your function and okay. inside function we cannot write one more function that's why we write only the return okay okay okay, okay. thank so you that's only the syntactical difference nothing nothing else okay. yeah thank you welcome okay now we are going to create the component so how first we need to create a folder called as components inside src okay so we are going with very you know uh, basic steps and those steps are standard you know according to the react uh, react standards okay we are following the complete standard okay and same standard you know companies also follow so otherwise you know we can create the component here also but this is wrong if you are creating new component your own component you should create the directory first right click on src you have to click on src right click new folder okay give the folder name as components folder name as components okay now inside components we will create a new file called as contact.js inside component we will create a new file called as contact.js okay so you have to click on components directory and new file okay and then save this file control s contact.js see my directory structure i have src i have components and then i have contact.js and similarly i am going to create one more file file name is header.js okay i created two file contact.js and header.js So Sudarshan, just ignore that warning. Okay, sir. Okay. <coughs> but, we... yes. but output will be not be displayed, sir, on screen, sir. No, no, output should get displayed. You are using class base or function base? Uh, class base. In class base, if you you know render it, you should have something in return. Okay. For now, see. For now, do you see the uh, uh, you know? Morning here in my code. Yeah, yeah, sir. Right. So I am getting the output. You should also get the same output here. Right now I'm not displaying anything, so it is blank. But I don't have any warning. So it's a compile with warning and uh, display with their particular code, sir. Here. Okay. 
so in uh, local host sir display the type error class heritage react webpack imported module one component is not an object or null have you written this have you written the same code i doubt you have written the same code uh, written sir uh, same code due uh, class name app and uh, within that the h1 and h2 so again share your screen yes sir. so uh, permission permission is not there sir uh, ma'am can you give him the permission yes given sir thank you yes sir right reboot yourself sir sir visible screen yes okay now at the js you have return line number 110 110 sir okay go up go up go up uh, import render from testing remove that import render okay first remove that one import render uh, this one line yes that is not required comment it out Second thing, yes, C extend component C is small. Why C is small? C is small a component. C. C so should be capital. C should be capital component C. Component C should be capital. So this one. Like. Yes. अभी तक लेक्चर चालू है वाला. In import and. Yeah, write it capital C. Capital. We, we are in. We are in. You know, we are. In, Uh, into programming languages so programming languages they are uh, you know case sensitive correct in c c plus plus java those are also case sensitive yes sir it's done sir thank you sir yeah. okay i'm sure your screen Okay. Now uh, let me share the screen again. Okay. Now we created two components. One is uh, header and one is contact. Okay. Now in contact component, in contact component, we are going to write you know the class based component here. Okay, so even you can use the same code which I written. Okay, let me copy paste it. Okay, you can also copy paste it. So that will be the you know it will be very fast. Just copy paste this code in class base uh, component in component dot uh, contact dot js file. done just raise your hands if you are done okay now we have defined this component contact now we will see how we can utilize this component in app.js so how you can utilize this component in app.js just you have to write importing in a tag let's first write the tag and then we will will input it so just write the tag contact okay so this contact tag you have to write it okay c is capital here contact c and why c is capital because we are using the class name so if you see the class name c is capital okay 
Okay, so do this change. And one more thing we have to do is, if you are using contact, and uh, React JS should should able to understand this contact right from where this contact is coming. So you have to import it. So import contact from where from components directory and inside components we have contact dot js. Okay, so no need to write your js. Only write the file name with no uh, extension. Sir, yes. Now contact uh, dot js will become our entry point or not? No, no, no. It will not entry. Entry <laughs> point will still app dot js, right? And from app dot js, we are calling contact. Okay. Sir, uh, why we have written uh, do class name equal to app? Is it because is we write in app dot js? Yes, yes. This is the default CSS which which we are applying. Even if you don't apply it, that's okay. Okay. Now, if you call this contact, you'll see the output contact component. Means now we are not displaying anything directly in app.js, but we are calling one component from app.js and we're displaying data which is present in contact component are you getting <laughs> yes sir yeah. can we display multiple components in app.js yes yes see like it's very simple now once you understand how to display the component okay just you copy paste this let's suppose four times you copy pasted this contact tag you'll see four times Similarly, if you're if you're written any other component, you can display that component also. There is no difference. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to write uh, contact actual contact here. Okay. You can also write it in contact instead of this contact H1. I'm going to display one contact with email ID and phone number. Okay, now see, I have one contact with email ID and phone number. in the group already. Let me know once you are done with the first contact which you have created. Then, do you see the same output? We have one contact with email yes, ID sir. and phone number. Yes. Shall we move ahead? Any question? Yes. Please, sir, please open the app.js. Okay. If you want me to stop, okay, please let me know. App.js, let me open. In app.js, what we did, we have just used single tag contact, and our contact details is coming from this contact component, which we have written it over here. 
then we have to import the contact. Okay, I hope uh, everyone now able to see the contact information. Okay, now let's write some code in header.js. Okay, I pasted the same code on the chart, just copy it and paste it in your header.js file. Okay, now you guys tell me how I can use header inside app.js. Import it first. Okay. Okay. And then write header. Yeah, write header. Section. Okay. My habit is to first, you know, write the code and then import it. So first we'll write header and then you can import it like like the contact from import header from component header. Okay, and then let's see the output. I will see the output my contact manager. And we have one single contact. Sir, yes. Ah, uh, a small, small जो लिखा है react वो क्या होता है? Capital react library है तो वो small react वो क्या है? See, this is react class, okay, and this is react actually the file library file, framework okay. file. Okay. Okay. ये from मतलब क्या? From means from where we want to import it and this import means what what we need to import it okay okay so this header dot js may have multiple functions right so which function you want to import it you can write it import from okay done i removed the this line app 
PLI. I have removed this app dot CSS. Okay, and now my output is, uh, you know, a bit clear now on left hand side. How many of you are getting same sure. output? Just raise your hands. Just give me a minute. How many are getting same output? Good, there are many. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, what about others? Just raise your hand fast. Yeah, question. Uh, sir, uh, please can you just uh, show one minute header dot js file? Contact header dot js, okay. So yes, header dot js, I haven't changed anything. The content which I given to you on the chart, it's same content. See, this is header. So we are going to display, you know, some better look and feel while a header by using bootstrap in tomorrow's session. This is just, you know, we, we are first creating the components and then we'll use uh, CSS and bootstrap to, uh, to have good look and feel uh, for our components. So whatever content I have it, Okay, I'll, I'll share it to the ma'am at the end of uh, session. Yes, sure, sir. So once we receive the content from the sir, uh, we will send it across on your email addresses. Okay. Yeah, I have one question. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just now you mentioned that uh, in a JS file, uh, suppose header.js. Uh, we can mention multiple functions. Mm -hmm. So when we are exporting default as header, then how yeah, we can default. export yeah, other yeah, functions? You can default multiple, you can export multiple functions. That's not an issue. Okay, so export default default with header, comma. Yes, yes. Other function names. Yes. Or even okay. you can you can hear also write export. So it's kind of you know syntax difference. Okay. Okay. But as per industry standard, in one, uh, you know, component, you should write only the one function. One function that is, okay. you know, that is called a single responsibility. Right, right. So that is the industry standard. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, sir. So, yeah. Uh, I have installed and uh, now. It has been installed finally uh, properly and PN also mm -hmm. uh, by installing the node of 14.3 version. Uh, it has been possible the latest version. I think so. It is under update. So I think so. Therefore, it is not uh, updating the NPN also. Okay. So basically, all uh, all such things is depend on your what what uh, OS you are using. Windows Linux. I am uh, Windows uh, 10 Pro. Yeah. So maybe, you know, due to some service pack, due to some patches, it, it won't allow you to install the particular version. Uh, yeah, that's also, yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, now I will uh, try all the things which we are showing. Yeah, please try. You are Abhishek, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I remember, yes. App.js, okay. Shall I paste this app.js or in, on the chat? See, this is app.js. Let me paste it. Try to understand the code. Okay, so once you understand the code, you can write the code on your own. Guys, okay. just believe me, there are you know a lot of opportunity in React JS. Okay, uh, you should become full stuff, you know, ta your targeted uh, target is to, you know, uh, learn uh, the things as a full stack, full stack developer, full stack in the sense, you should also know the front end and you should also know the back end. 
Uh, okay, uh, sir, uh, I just want to ask you that uh, any sources there from where I can get more and more projects to do like this? Sources you can you know easily get it from the Google. You just need to type how you can learn the ReactJS. You'll get lot of stuff. But uh, okay. you know, uh, you you can't get all the things from one source. You have to look into multiple sources and grab the things as much as possible. Okay, sir. Yeah, you can't just rely on one website. or even one uh, single video you have to you know study a lot before you know uh, jumping to you know jump, jumping to any decision like if you if you go through one single web page and later then you feel like oh chalo ho gaya we we, uh, we are done uh, the read from one website this is wrong even that website may not have the complete full read details you have to look into other website you have to look into documentation read js documentation to get as much as information uh, you know as possible okay thank you okay so uh, now we have components we created two components and we now learn how to use that component in our main app component so we have two components header and contact okay now this is our last slide any anyone have you you know uh, face such thing in your you know in your programming when you do the programming yes sir yes uh, yes sir I... yes yes you know it sometimes it's very you know surprisingly and it's very funny we we write the code and compiler gives the uh, something like error is on line number 42 but there is no code written in line 42 and we you know it it takes lot of effort to understand the errors and resolve it right yes sir correct correct yeah okay. so take programming as a fun okay don't take it you know as a serious you know chalo karna ye karna you don't do it like that uh, do it as a fun you will uh, you will learn lot of things in uh, you know in in programming not about only react but if you learn any kind of programming language there are lot of things which uh, you can you know learn it as as a part of interest okay okay sir yeah so uh yeah, we can uh, you know we can call a day off now and uh, we will meet tomorrow at same time 10 15 so try to connect to you know at 10 only because we need to start uh, sharp at 10 uh, 10 15 and we may get extended by you know 15 minutes so up to 12 30 you know or even if you have more question and answer then uh, uh, you know after the session we'll have a kind of discussion okay but don't bunk tomorrow's lecture tomorrow's lecture is very much important we are going to learn properties and state and then we are going to you know learn the bootstrap also how we can use bootstrap in our app dot uh, in basic in our react js programming okay yes sir okay yes thank you so much okay welcome after some time i'll share the ppt and uh, you know what our notes i have it with the ma'am and they they'll share it on your email id yes sure crowd operation we'll take at least one or two operation but not all due to time constraint okay if if you do it fast then you know uh, we can do more things but uh, as we have you know more than 150 200 student we cannot go very much uh, you know very fast we have to stick to our speed because everyone should you know uh, understand it clearly sir cover okay. the hooks also hooks no 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 in basic uh, i like try to let i like at least explain what hooks what what hook is in react okay okay sir yeah. but to get into hooks we first need to understand props and state how we can use the props and state 
Yes. Iya. Oke, okay. uh, Citra Mem? Uh, yes, Kunal sir. Iya. So, so yeah. tomorrow we will be starting, uh, start joining at 10 so that we will, can start the session exactly at 10.15. 10.15, correct. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Kunal sir, some student ha uh, had sent, I have forwarded you on WhatsApp uh, their screenshots. Abhishek had mailed it. Abhishek, is your problem solved now? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Ma'am. Okay. So only he has sent. So I had forwarded it on to your WhatsApp. Okay, maybe you know if you have any errors, if you're uh, you know if you need my help, then share your uh, you know error details to my email ID. I'll reply to you. Yeah. Can you share okay. your email ID over yeah, here? Uh, yeah, chat? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Let me share it to everyone. Okay. Everyone, please note down my email ID. If you have any doubt question, you can, you know, share your question on this email ID. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Candidates. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much, Kunal, sir. So we come to end of the two days. Uh, workshop tomorrow we will be starting at 10 a.m that is we will start the zoom link meeting at 10 a.m sir will start taking uh, the session from 10 15 so be prepared if you want to try out try out something so that you are with whatever if you are lagging behind for today's session you can cover it up in entire day today and be prepared for tomorrow's session Ma'am, we'll start. I'll start at 10 10 so that you know we'll have 10 minutes of revision and then, okay. uh, yeah, okay. So no everyone, problem. yeah, everyone, please connect, you know, at least at 10 so that we'll start at 10 10. Okay, I'll, I'll leave now. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.